Well, friends, this isn't something that I had on my bingo card for 2025. Apparently, Broadcom is now offering the ESXi hypervisor for free once again. Let's talk about it. Hey there, home lovers, self posters, IT pros, and engineers. Rich here. I woke up to quite a surprise this morning. Broadcom, the evil corporation that bought VMware, turned it upside down, shook all of the money out of its pockets, squeezed their current customers for cash, gutted the organization as we knew it, and then adding insult to injury, stopped offering ESXi free for personal and home abuse is now being nice. That's right, this morning it was discovered in the patch notes for VMware ESXi 80 update 3E that quote, Broadcom makes available the VMware vSphere hypervisor version 8 and entry-level hypervisor. You can download it free of charge from the Broadcom support portal. No big flashy announcement, just a single sentence on the patch notes for this update. Let's talk about what the limitations are and we'll get to my thoughts about all of this. I went ahead and downloaded the ISO for ESXi 80 update 3E and tossed it onto one of my spare physical hosts to check on and validate what free means to Broadcom these days. In the license section, there is no longer a default 60-day full evaluation license post-install, and the system is locked to 8-way virtual SMP or 8 virtual CPUs per VM. Otherwise, the ESXi hypervisor looks essentially the same as it did from what it was before Broadcom pulled it. First things first, if you are still in the camp of really wanting to try VMware ESXi, either in your home lab or because you want to skill up for certifications, Here's your chance. I'm not gonna fault anyone for jumping on this opportunity, however long it lasts. Here's what I think though. First, I don't trust Broadcom at all, period, the end. The corporation has made sweeping changes to VMware as a whole and the community that I was once a dedicated part of. I won't mince any words here. I don't trust for an instant they won't pull the rug out from under this if it serves a purpose for them. Secondly, as a previous customer, I don't think this marks a change in Broadcom's well-published approach of squeezing the top 500 customers for more cash and abandoning practically everyone else. As a reminder, they just recently announced price hikes and minimum core counts for licensing, regardless of whether your company had that hardware in place or even needed it. And let's not forget moving patching and updates from being public to being behind authentication and the Broadcom portal. It's been a year since Broadcom sweeping changes have come to pass. Every business that I know has or is in the process of planning their departure from their VMware stack. And there's some really compelling enterprise offerings out there like Nutanix, Scale Computing, Verge IO, Platform 9, and of course, Proxbox and XCPNG. A year ago, amongst the chaos and disruption of Broadcom's plans, where to go post VMware was far less clear. These days, there are plenty of clear alternatives with companies who actually care about their customers and their community. Personally, I've moved on to Proxmox for my home lab and I'm continuing to experiment with other hypervisors to keep sharp on the cutting edge of what is available, and you should too. I'm already getting emails asking me if I'm ready to eat my words or eat crow for the things that I've said in the past. And while I do enjoy a good ribbing, you know who you are, I'm not gonna change my tune here. You can't do what Broadcom did to their customers and their community and find forgiveness by unwinding one of the many bad things that they've done. Believe me, friends, I wish that was the case. So I will leave you with this, the immortal words of George Bush. It is the first thing that came to mind when I read the news this morning. There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on Shame on you. It fooled me, we can't get fooled again. And that, friends, will do it for this quick video. If you liked it, throw us a sub and a like. And if you have a beef with anything I've said here, let me know in those comments below. Special thank you to YouTube members. You guys help keep the lights on, and we thank you for it. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider becoming a member or buy some of our awesome swag. It helps us keep making these videos. And now that you've finished watching this video, how about checking out our Life After VMware playlist over here? Thanks for watching. <laughs>